Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Priyendra Kumar. In this video, you will learn how we can evaluate a formula. Let's say a formula is available in text format. You can see this is a formula, but equal to sign is not here. In the second line, this is also a correct formula, but I have put several space here. So it is not giving the result and today formula is there but we have not put any equal to sign here so it is not giving a result basically these all are text so how we can get the result from these formulas i have created a vba function to get the result from the formulas available in tax form so i'll show you that formula i have created a user defined function here that is evaluate formula and then we will give this reference and just close the bracket now you can see the output is this if i will fill this down then it is giving the output here the range between and this is the today if i will change it in date format so it will give the date and similarly here you can see this is the vlookup formula and the data is available here it is picking up for this employee ID to agent name, which is employee name agent five. So it is available here. And this is the output of this formula. Similarly here also. So friends, basically it is calculating the result according to this formula. I'll tell you how can you create this evaluate formula user defined function in your Excel. In this video, I'll tell you one more function that is how to get the text of any formula whatever formula i have put here you can see this is 18 but how this 18 is coming so this is the formula which i have put if i want to fetch out this text then what i can do in excel 2013 and above version there is a formula available which is formula text you can just give the reference it will give you the formula whatever you have put there so you can see this is the formula which we have put here so it is giving the text here if you are using excel 2010 or below version then i have created a user defined function and that is text of formula and just give this reference again it will give you now I'll tell you in this video, how can you create these two user defined function? One is text of formula and second is evaluate formula. Evaluate formula has been created to evaluate a formula which is available in text format and text of formula has been created to fetch the text or convert the formula into text. So let's start. I'm going to the developer tab and visual basic. I have created these two formulas here. This is very simple formula. I'll explain you here. So just I have taken as evaluate underscore formula and I have created this as function input. I'm just taking formula underscore text as a string. So whatever formula we will pass inside this and then it will give the result as variant because it can be a number it can be a string all right so i have taken here as variant now here i have put the application dot volatile so that my formula can calculate automatically whenever the seat will refresh or any change in the seat now evaluate underscore formula value will be application dot evaluate and here we can give our the formula available in tax form it doesn't make any difference whether the equal to sign available in your formula or not it will handle both type of things if equal to sign is not available in your formula then it can give you the result if equal to sign is available there then still it can give you the result i have used the bba underscore trim here if there are few leading spaces available in your formula tax then it can remove that and then formula text all right so it is evaluating the formula so you can see here in the excel sheet here i have used the equal to sign here i have not used even if i will use here equal to sign and then i will put few spaces here then still it will give me the result 
now the second formula is text of formula how to fetch the text of formula so here i have taken the input as range so here i am taking rng as range then it will return as a string because it is returning the text of that formula so output always will be in a string now again i have used here application dot volatile so that my formula can calculate automatically and it is pretty much simple that is text of formula will be rng the range dot formula whatever formula available there it will return that now i'll show you it is returning here if i will use here let's say now function so it is giving me the date and time if i will put here text of formula then it will return now so i have used here now function right if i will use let's say vlookup then lookup value i am taking 1001 comma and table array i am taking this one comma 2 comma 0 and just close this so it is giving me the output but i want to see what formula is used here however i am able to see this here but i want to fetch it here so what i will do i'll use text of formula and it will give you the result here if you are using excel 2013 or above version then you can simply use formula text which is inbuilt function of microsoft excel in 2013 and above version and just close this so it will give you the same result and if you want to evaluate it any of the formula and just close this so it will give you the result so friends that is how you can create these two function many times it is required when your formula is available in the text form then you want to get the result on the next column or you want to do any other use of this then you can use these two function i hope you have enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching